All right, um, so in a real confrontation, sometimes we find ourselves just outside of uh, this neutral space area. What I want to talk to you about today is the way the eyes process information. And so if I'm this close to Travis and we're both about to fight, generally speaking, the first person to fire wins. Your eyes take so long to process information. Even well-trained eyes still have to go through this certain loop that happens. And so what I want to do is if I know I'm going to be in a confrontation, I want to know where my line is where I'm one step away from hitting him. So for me, this is where my line is looking at the low line attack. I know that I'm one step away from coming in. It's going to be a little bit closer sometimes if we're talking about the hands, and this is the edge of my line. So if Travis takes one step forward, then I know that I'm only one step away from hitting him. You have to know where your line is, and so I want to cover a drill where if anybody gets inside that space, you should be in contact with them, bridging with them, or hitting them because otherwise, this close to each other, the first person to fire is usually gonna win. And so, if Travis is just standing straight up, he can be a wall, it can be a bag, I, whatever I need, a heavy bag, doesn't matter. I wanna practice to where one step, I know I can touch my target. Or, one step, I know I can touch my target. And you wanna always just, just drill it, drill it, drill it until you know instinctively where that line is. You can take a partner now and have them back up a little bit, and when they take a step in, if I know that's my line, and I'm gonna move in, or if I know, there's my line, he just got in. He didn't know it, because only I know where my line is. Everybody's is gonna be a little bit different, okay? And so that's just kind of a way to manage the middle and get in on them, because I don't wanna stay here where we can both just throw punches and kicks and trade. I don't like to trade, I wanna get in and get into contact or do whatever it is that you do, okay? All right, a lot of times what happens is, uh, from what I've seen, is we either want to dive into the body or we get stuck in the middle trading blows. And if we're trading blows, that, that can be a very difficult place to be if I'm not out on top. What I want to do if we're talking about entering techniques, and this is a huge category of techniques in Kung Fu, I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of basic ones right now, is I want to be able to hit him and bypass his arms but still keep myself safe. One of my favorites, and I use a staggered guard, but it works just as well from here. One of my favorites is to simply try and take his lead arm away. I can do that in one of two basic ways. I can snatch and fire this way and come in, and now I've turned his body, I'm on top of him, he can follow up, or I can come in with my back arm. And I can come in this direction, or straight, or if I want. And I want one of two things. I want to hit him and get the startle reflex going, or if he blocks, I'm attached to both of his arms. If I know where both of his arms are, I'm less likely to get hit. I can go into my grappling, or I can fire and just go in. If I've got a bad position, I can kick and get out. I can do all of the things that I need to do as long as I begin to manage his arms and keep him from hitting me while I'm trying to hit him or move in. Okay? Thank you, sir.